My question is really on, like, how do we approach the issue of abortion with some that would disagree? And, and here's really my, my dilemma, I guess, sometimes. Is it more of a, like, an evidentialist view or a or presuppositionalist view where we're approaching that? Because I find that when I'm having that conversation with people, they, they use old arguments, mm-hmm. right, that are, mm-hmm. that are quite dated, right, that, that don't light up with what we know about science now. And eventually, if I'm presenting an evidential argument, eventually they come to the point where they're like, they're, oh, I'm, I'm okay with killing a human. Okay, move on to somebody else. Right? Move, so, yeah, move on to somebody else. Because if they're going to say I'm okay to kill another human, even Bill Maher admitted that recently. Yeah. yeah, I know it's a human being. I was on his show like 20-something years ago, and I said it's a human being. Bill, he goes, it's not a human being. It's just a blob of tissue. Now he's admitting it's a human being. Right? But he's okay with it. Okay. He said, there's enough people out there. We don't need any more. Who's he, Thanos? Right, right. And I ask that question you because, because Romans 2, right, uh-huh. the law is written on our hearts. Sure. So everyone deep down really knows that this is wrong and it's murder. Look, here's the easiest way to show people that abortion should not happen. Go to caseforlife.com, caseforlife.com, scroll down, watch the one-minute video. I can't show you that video here because YouTube would censor it. I tried to show it before. Shut the video down. It's too true. It will show you the results of an abortion in all three trimesters. One minute, no no narration, just pictures of unborn children. You will see in the first trimester, you'll see hands cut off. You'll, You'll see it. Once you see it, you go, okay. That shouldn't happen. All right? So forget all the arguments. Just watch this video. See that? (laughs) Right there. There it is. Should you do that? Mm. You're going to say yes? Right. Have a nice day. Move on to somebody else. Right. Thank you. Now, whenever you talk about abortion, you always have to say there's forgiveness under the blood of Christ because many of us have either had abortions or encouraged them. I'm not here to condemn anybody who has. I'm here to prevent people in the future from doing it again and to showing people what the law should be. Now, let's be honest, in America, we're not going to get a complete ban on abortion because we haven't done our job. The church hasn't done our job. It's not the Republican Party's problem. It's our problem. We haven't done the job to show people why abortion should be unthinkable. So we've got to bring people along incrementally. Save as many babies as you can, even if you can't save them all. 